Welcome to this new video tutorial. We're going to do today face landmarks detection. We're going first to detect our face in real time and later we're going to detect 68 specific points of our face. Let's see an example. In this image we see the points that we're going to detect on our face. We have from the point 0 to the point 16 our jaw. From 17 to 20, 21, one eyebrow. From 32 to 26, the second eyebrow. From 36 to 41, the first eye. From 42 to 47, the second eye. Then from 27 to 35, the nose. And from 48 to, let's say, 60, the external part of the lips. And from 61, to 67 the internal part of the lips let's first start importing the libraries we import cv2 we import numpy as np and then we import the the lib library first we need to take the frames from the camera so we load the camera cap is equals to cv2 dot video capture zero zero if for the first webcam if you have uh, different webcams you can change the index one for the second two for the third and so on then we run the while loop while true we get the frame from the camera underscore frame is equals to cap dot read once we have the frame we can show the frame on the screen cv2 dot im show name of the window frame and then we show the frame await key event key is equals to cv2 dot wait key one if the key is equals to 27 we it means the asking the keyboard we want to quit so we break the loop let's run the script And if everything is correct, we should see our camera on the screen. So we can see our frame in real time. Let's now convert the frame into a grayscale format. So the frame will be equals to uh, gray frame will be equals to cv2 dot cvt color frame and then cv2 dot color underscore bgr to gray we most of the time for uh, computer vision we convert the frame to grayscale format because grayscale it has only one channel in comparison the, uh, with the three channels of the color format and it will be easier to process for the cpu it will take less computational power and it has all the things that we need anyway for the detection so as long colors are not necessary we always convert to gray frame. After we convert to gray frame, we can already start detecting the face. So we load the detector from the lib library. The detector is equals to the lib dot get frontal face detector. So we load the detector so we can start detecting the faces on the frames. Faces is equals to the detector and we detect the face on the uh, the faces on the gray frame and that enough for detecting the face. So now we print faces to see what we get. And let's run the script again. And this is what uh, gets printed uh, about the faces. So we can see that it's an object where there are rect rectangles. As the detector detect, detects more faces, we can loop through this object and print the coordinate of the faces. So for face in faces, Let's print at the moment face. 
and let's see what we get we can see that here we have the the coordinates and we have exactly two points we have the point at the top left of the screen uh, where the face is detected at the point at the right bottom and we need exactly these specific points to draw a rectangle where our face is so let's now draw a rectangle we do it this way first we we extract these points and the method to extract the points is this one as it is an object we call it this way x1 is equals to face dot left so this is the left point y1 is equals to face dot top and now the right bottom point x2 is face dot right and y2 is equals to face dot bottom so we're extracting extracting these specific numbers just this way so the x1 will be this one y1 this one 185 x2 will be this 434 and y2 this one 400 once we have these points we can draw the rectangle on the screen to represent our face cv2 dot rectangle we draw the rectangle on the frame uh, as you should know for the rectangle we need two points we need the top left and we have x1 and y1 and we need the bottom right x2 and y2 the color of this rectangle let's make it green 0 blue 255 of green and 0 of red and the thickness of the rectangle we can make it uh, 3 this for the detection of the face let's run the script and let's see if everything works correctly and everything works fine in this case we can see that the detection of the face is really accurate now we have only the face detected let's now go deeper and let's now detect all the 68 landmarks points that we, we have seen before we don't need to show the rectangle anymore so i'm going to comment this part instead we're going to detect the landmarks point so first we need to load a predictor for these points it's called this way predictor is equals to clip dot shape predictor and we should have a file for that and I have the file in the same folder where there is the Python script and it's this one shape predictor 68 face landmarks so you can download this one from the link that uh, it's on the description and I'm just going to copy the full name of this one and put it here so that we can load the predictor once we have the predictor we can simply call the object and detect the landmarks so landmarks will be equals to predictor we're going to load this from the gray frame and also we need to specify the area where we're going to predict the landmarks in this case on the face so we, we first detect the faces then for a single face we detect the landmark points and without now showing the landmark let's now first print print landmarks and we see let's see what we get it's running and landmarks is an object as also face was an object 
Now we're going to extract from this object, we're going to extract the points. So for example, if we want to show the coordinates of the point number zero and the point number zero, it's this one. We'll do it this way. We have X, let's call it just X at the moment, is equals to landmarks.part0 dot X and Y equals to landmarks.part0 dot Y. And we can print these two points, uh, these two coordinates print x and y and let's now run again the script and we can see that we are printing the coordinates of the points so let's now show on the screen this specific point we can make a circle using this coordinate cv2.circle uh, we'll do the circle on the frame the center point of the circle will be X and Y that we just found. The radius, let's make it uh, of three pixel. The color, let's make it uh, blue. 255 of blue, zero of green and zero of red. And thickness, let's make it minus one. It means that we're going to, full, uh, to fill the circle with the color. Uh, we can see the result of our detection. On the screen this point just close to my ear and this is the point zero exactly this one that we are detecting let's try a different point for example the point 27 at the top of the nose so it will be really simple instead of zero we will just type 27 27 and also make let's make the circle a bit bigger let's make it six so it will be easier for us to see it and we have now the circle the top of the nose you can see that the prediction it was works really well even if I move my face quite fast in front and back now that we understood how to get the points let's show all the 68 points of the detection so instead of doing them one by one let's just create a loop for and in range from 0 to 68 and let's put it this way and here we just put n and so we're going to use to find all the 68 points I'll, I'll make it a little bit and we finally detected all the 68 points in the face you can see that it works really well if you change the position not only frontal but if it's also on the side once we have all these coordinates of the face you can do a lot of application like for example it's really common on instagram right now all the faces all the effects for the face that makes your eyes bigger or if you open the mouth 
you something will happen and other things to increase the size of the jaw or to make it smaller to increase the size of the mouth and all the effects that you want to make also this uh, face swap that you can take your face and swap it with some other face because you can cut it really uh, precise you can cut really precise your face uh, stay updated if you want to see in the next video some development and how to apply some effects on the face using this uh, detection.